hello there uh, so until now we know how to make a api call how to make a model how to make a complex model and parse them everything looks good but the code is not looking uh, quite well uh, we can improve the code uh, we can make it more readable and uh, let's see how we can do that so we can do that using the help of factory constructor so we are going to use or create a factory constructor which will help us in the parsing uh, the data so i will write uh, user uh, so factory constructor work in a way like that um, you have to type the it is some, somewhere similar to the um, static method so like user dot from map and here we just pass the json and it returns the object okay so let's uh, take all the parsing logic from there and let's put it here that's it nothing more than that you see json so i make it e and that's it we got the uh, we will put all the parsing logic in the factory constructor okay so i will say return user from map and here i will pass e that's it all the parsing logic logic goes to the user and this will also work you see this will also work let's try and see if it works or not so if i come here and i run the app you see everything is good and you see like location still the location pa uh, parsing logic should go inside the uh, location factory constructor user picture should go in the user picture constructor so we should keep all these parsing logic in their file itself okay so let's create another factory constructor for the user picture user picture dot from map and i will just pass a map here which will like string and dynamic and here i will pass the json and it will return the uh, object of uh, this class so i just have to write json that's it so now i just have to call this here user picture from json and i will pass the user picture only so here i am passing user picture and here we got the user picture and from that we take the large medium and small everything okay that's it so let's coming to the next one which is uh, suppose that if you want to do for any of the other classes we just have to do the same thing copy and paste so uh let's move further let's uh, use the location uh how should i proceed because all three are somewhere related to each other so i think we should take all of these because you see only one error and we will put all of them in the location factory constructor so let's create a location user location dot from map and here we will pass map of string and dynamic and json and that's it and here we will do the same thing we will just return not written here uh, let's take the return from there and let's we are getting error let's make it a user location will come from the previous okay let's make it json okay things look good uh, just add the return here so you see uh this one is doing the same thing and final location and this is going to be user location from map and here i just have to pass e of location and that's it awesome so we can do the same thing for the user date of birth and user name so let's create a factory constructor for the user date of birth so user dob from map and here we just have to pass the map of type string and dynamic and let's call it json and let's return it that's it so here we will say json of age and here we will say json of date okay that's it so let's take this and come here and say it and take the user or e of dob and that's it remove it so now everything looks good the last one is the username let's do the same for the username so now you see how we are taking the code uh, of uh, parsing json parsing and making the object to their own classes so how we will parse json to the user object the logic is inside the user class so this is cool this is like factory constructor is helping us a lot and yeah so that's it let's take this and let's come here from json and we will just say e of name 
that's it so now you see how simplified these thing looks this these thing looks really awesome so coming forward there is something which still is missing or i need to do so which is for the location so you see that for the location there are more factory constructor need needed to be added for each of the classes because we have three more classes one for the location street so let's start with this one location street and we will just write from map and here we will do the same thing map of stream dynamic json let's add it and yeah and the next one is very simple let's copy and paste it let's copy this because you see there is a pattern which is repeating again and again now for the location street i will go at the top and i will copy the object creation logic and i will return it here and here i will say json and the street will come from the top okay so this one is fine i will take it from here and put it here and let's let's pass json street as the parameter and i mean to say argument uh, okay so location time zone let's come here let's return it and let's do a uh, return so that's it so now we will take the json and we will like json okay so from the top we will pass the argument json of uh, uh, time zone okay so let's copy this one let's come at the top and uh, yeah this one so let's paste it here and let's take this one and let's pass it so that's it i think something is missing yeah parenthesis was missing yeah awesome the last one which is location coordinate let's copy this one let's come here and let's return and paste it awesome let's take the json from there and replace it that's it so now i will take this one and i will say dot from map and i will take json coordinates and paste it awesome everything looks good you see how simplified this thing looks like if you put all of them in a separate file this will look very much clear and cool so that's it for this video this video was more about uh, writing more code clean and cleaner and using the factory constructor in your models so that's it see you in the next